So here is Wigand in the desolated field outside the walls of Helm Deep, Helm's Deep, looking somberly back at the wall upon which he was blown up. There it is. Through the smoke and the ash in the wake of the battle. All right. So, hang on a second. Fall Festival, not just now. Thank you. Okay. Um, now, first of all, keep in mind, I'm playing Wigand now, right? So I want to make sure you guys understand what that means. I'm playing Wigand now, which means I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, that means I've never played this before in my life. So if you see me missing something or not understanding something, tell me, because I don't know. I, 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 this is, you know, when I've, most of the times when I'm playing like Grifflet, for instance, uh, I've generally been there before, right? So I have some kind of clue of where I'm going, even though I haven't always paid attention to all the things I pay attention to with Grifflet. But here I don't have any idea. So, um, if you have advice, uh, for, uh, if you have advice for me, let me know. Um, somebody was saying something about a session play. I'm always keen on session plays. Um, where do I where do I go? How do I get it? How does that work? Because I have no clue. Okay. So, but uh, what I do know is that Theoden has commanded men who own swift horses to get on them, right, and go uh, uh, go warn folks. So let me. Uh, I have a quest item in my bag. I do. Flashback sessions? Wait, where is it? I've got so much junk in my bag, I don't even know. I still haven't been able to manage my inventory fully. No, no. I don't think I do. No. Uh, okay. Um, continue the story and I'll get there. Okay. Two of them are coming up. Flashback sessions? Deathman, you mean that they're going to try to redeem themselves for the exceptionally lame ending of the Battle of Helm's Deep during the epic battles? That would be good. That would be good. It was indeed the hints that people were making towards that at the end of the Wigand Marathon that led me to want to carry on and continue that right away, uh, because I, I, was, I, I enjoyed the Battle of Helm's Deep, but I was bitterly disappointed in the end. So, um, so let's see what we can do here. Okay. Um, let's continue on with the epic storyline and see what we get. Hi, do you have a fast horse? Okay. Through East Rohan. Fantastic. Well, this is going swimmingly. Hi there. Uh, how about you? Do you have a horse? Oh, no, you needed a poultice. Okay, so I treated you. Fine. All right. Some people I give from some I give help to others I, from my, uh, others I, I seek it. Okay, let's see. As usual, my cursor is so tiny, this flying ash makes me lose track of my cursor. Okay, there you go. You're fine? Okay, your injuries are not severe. That's good. The mounds of slain. Man, that's a lot of dead orcs. Oh, and done landings mixed in there too? Yikes. It's fairly grim. Still not exactly what I would call a down. Still more of a death heap than a death down, exactly. But, you know. Okay, all right. You're going to... Good. You've got a fast horse. Hey, uh, do you have a horse, too? I'm on a roll. You look like you've got a horse. Fantastic. Okay, so now I just need injured folks. Excuse me, do you have any injuries that I can help you with? Oh, no, I don't need fast horses anymore. We're good with fast horses. So, why am I still finding soldiers for horses when I am set for horses? I, are you wounded? You don't look that wounded, but I thought I'd ask. No. Got a sick horse. Oh, wait, hang on. You're doubled over in pain. Let me check you. Hey there. 
Need a poultice? Is your knee injured? Hey! Great! Glad I could help. Okay, anybody else on the ground? You, sir! There you go. No. Uh, you decline. Fine. Oh, wait! Yes, you also are doubled over. Hooray! Talk to Erkenbrand! Excellent! Okay, back to the portly gentleman of a certain age. One of my childhood heroes, Arkin Brand. Okay, where'd he go? There he is. Oh, wait. He's got... A oh, that's right, the Dunlending. The captive... This is the, the captive Dunlendings who are being treated mercifully much to their surprise. Keep up the good work, Arkin Brand. We have wrested victory from the very claw of Saruman. Yeah, okay. A proud day for the Riders of the Mark. I totally agree. Um, well, hang on a second. A quest starting item from completing the Epic Battles Deed? I'm reasonably sure I did not ditch a quest item. What is it? The quest item. Am I just overlooking it in my inventory? Which is possible. But, got lots of stuff. Ooh, including this sweet bracelet that I didn't notice. Yeah. Um, but anyway, sorry. Uh, apart from that... Pretty sure I didn't destroy a quest item. Pretty sure I wasn't offered one. Looks like a letter. Did not send me my summons. Nah. No, those are scrolls down there. Yeah. Um. No, no, that's a scroll too. That's yeah, a battle lore scroll right there. No. Nope. Second road down, <laughs> fourth from the left in bag five. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. That's the same one. Yeah. Yeah. No. Um. No, no. Did I complete the deed? No, I've got no pending loot. My pending loot is kicked. And I, there wasn't a quest item in it. I definitely would have noticed that. Uh, where is it? Instances? No. Uh... The war? No. Uh, where is it? Oh, it's West Rohan deeds. Okay. All right. Rovanian. West Rohan. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Um, Slayer deed, quest deeds... Nope. Really? It's here? Survivor of the Long Night Deed? Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. But I don't want to miss this. You know, if I can help it. I don't I don't know why how I missed it. But I don't see it here. Survivor of the Long Night. Nope. No, yeah, I did cook on completed gravity. It was only just like the Orc Slayer deed was the only one I'd completed in West Rohan. Yeah, Orc Slayer. That's all I got. Uh, that's Wildermore. I don't see it either here or in completed. Got the Explorer deeds, two quest deeds, bunch of Slayer deeds. That's all I got. I don't know. I don't know. Um, maybe let's let's let, let me keep going and see what happens here because I'm still 
It's a hidden deed. I haven't finished the book yet. Um, I just did. This is chapter one, book 14, right? Why are my bags in a cockamamie order? Uh, nope. And nothing but my legendary items and food in here. Consumables and legendaries in this bag. No, that's not a scroll. That's p page of Gondorian part. It's crafting stuff. So is th so are these. Nope. Um. Let's see. Where's Western Rohan? Here. I need to Helm's Deep. Okay, hang on a second. Where's that one? How do, where do I get it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't see it. I don't know where I missed it. Let's see if I have a title called Survivor of the Long Night. Okay. I'll look for my titles. Let's see. You guys are very helpful. No. Survivor of Langhold I've got. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, to Helmsteep from Arkenbrand? What? I never met Arkenbrand before he showed up here today. Where was I meant to meet Arkenbrand? Ah, okay. All right. See? Well, there you go. All right. So Griffin will get to it, but Wigan can't. If it's a, if it's a completionist thing, I've just been following the epic with, uh, with, uh, with Wigan, so that must explain it. Okay. All right. All right. Yep. No, I never did go to Erkenbrand's refuge. This was the first time I met him, uh, because I've been, I've been, because everybody keeps saying, "Why aren't you in Gondor yet? Why aren't you in Mordor yet?" So I'm pushing Wigan to get through, uh, and level up. So you know, there it is. Whereas I have. Uh, uh, Griffith is going to follow along in a nice, sedate pace, uh, going all the way through the Rohan storyline. So, okay, right, yep, yep. All right, well, that explains it. Okay, so some of the cool things Wigan is going to be able to do. We'll see what we can do anyway, though. All right, so back to Brand here, who is standing in front of me, and all these Dunlendings are going to start getting really uh, uh, nervous as I'm standing there next to them. Um, at, no, uh, we haven't closed the raffle yet, so I just keep, I'm going to keep that open for a little bit. Don't forget to enter the raffle for our final door prize drawing of the day. Okay, we have wrested victory from the very claw of Saruman, even as he thought his triumph assured. The house of Aeorl is stronger than he supposed, thri despite thrice-cursed Weirgenda and the whispers of frailty that had been uttered throughout the mark. Okay, excellent. They had in King as fighting him still. Um... Nice. So, uh, Weirgenda, of course, is the crone who cursed the line of uh, um, Fingal. So, uh, that's been... We've moved past that. Okay. Urkenman strikes his shield with the side of his sword and cries, Victory for the Aorlinga is a cry that is answered from others of the Rohirrim throughout the field. Okay, we've put the Dunlendings to work, hauling away the bodies of the orcs and cleaning the field of battle. Any who take a solemn vow not to cross the fords in war ever again will have the forgiveness of our king. Excellent. That is very merciful of York and Brand. It will be a few hours before we ride for the ring of Isengard and its evil master. That's right. Okay, Gandalf has decided to ride to Isengard and my uncle has determined he should ride with him. Good, some others will go. Hope I get to go. But first you'll rest. Well, you guys will rest. I'll probably be sent on errands, I assume. Find Darwina inside Hornburg. He's begun to arrange bedrolls for those seeking rest. Okay. 
All right, so I have to go see. You guys get to rest. I get to see about hotel accommodations within Helm's Deep. That's fine. All right. Hey, can I go through the uh, through the gap? Can I get in through the gap in the wall? There's the deeping stream. Oh yeah, we fought off people for a long time down here. Oh, there's the stairs. Hey, I'm gonna, gonna switch horses. Riding a horse steed around the inside of Helm's Deep sounds like a bad idea. All right. Oh dear. Wait, Glaoina might have a, a flashback available? Can you do a flashback to a thing you never completed? I haven't done any of the prereqs for the stuff. I mean, the Rohan stuff is all pretty intricately connected. We'll have to open the portcullises too, huh? Ah, see the stars of Numenor on the portcullis? Yes, indeed. Oh, dear. Ooh. The dead laid out now inside of Helm's Deep. Who am I going to talk to? Darwin? Oh, he's upstairs, isn't he? Whoa! Sorry, almost galloped over the dead. That's not good. All of these Rohirrim who sacrificed their lives. Is he up here? I think he's up here. Somebody's up here. What's this quest ring leading me to? Oh, there you are! It is Darwin in here. All right. Whoa. Sorry. Didn't mean to turn the opposite direction there. Okay. So where are we going to put folks? We spoke yesterday. Do you remember? That does seem like a lifetime ago. Speak to me if you are ready, and I will prepare a place for you. The king and some others ride to Isengard. Okay. Um. Sure. Allies unexpected. I will show you to a quiet corner of the keep where you can rest. So we're having a... We're having a, a sleeping instance? All right. I love instances. After a short rest, the company sets out for Isengard and finds the road greatly changed. Okay. This is a little more like it. Hey, Aragorn, not to, like, ignore you or something, but... Okay, I can't actually walk off into the woods. This looks like a proper horn forest. I like it. All right, Aragorn here. Shall I mount up? Are we war steeding Aragorn? I'll just I'll just ride my normal steed. How about that? There you go. It's my little Eastham net steed here. I did think I think I rested. I thought I thought this was a sleeping instance, but I guess it's a the morning after instance, so that's fine. Um, you're still greatly fatigued. I'm sorry to hear that, Aragorn. What will we find in Isengard? These trees were not here when we arrived at Helm's Deep yesterday. I think we both know what brought them here, to the foot of the dike, but that makes it no less frightening a sight. What, killing orcs, right? A presence watches us among the trees. Yeah. Okay, the trees don't bear us any ill will, huh? 
The editing doesn't feel welcome. Who's this? Amir, right. Don't stray from the path, right? I tried to do that, and here I wasn't allowed to do that. Oh, Le Legos and Gimway are stopping. Oh, they've dismounted. Legos is dismounted. What are you looking at, Legos? What do you see? Over here? Is there an ant over here, Legolas? Yeah! On Thedon, are you going to see, you know, old tales come to life? There they are! It's an ant progression! Oh, who are they? Who's the pudgy ant? I can't click on them. Shepherds of the forest. Hey, Thaden, what do you think of the shepherds of the forest? Pretty cool, right? I never believed I would see such things. Ents! You are filled with wonder! Wonder of a kind I thought was the sole reserve of children. Now that's interesting. Right? That is, the implication of Theoden's words in the text, I always took him to be suggesting that uh, only children would believe it. Right? That only children were big enough suckers to believe those stories. Um, of course, I quite prefer this version, or like this, uh, this particular reading there, where um, he thinks that only children should have as much wonder as that. Boy, that bears a lot of thinking about Theoden. Anyway, I'm an old man, a white beard of many winters, and still I have seen things this day I would not have believed yesterday. They tower above mortal men and cover such a span with each stride. What damage they could do to the homes of my people if that was their thought. Okay. Now you understand the meaning of the forest. Why would they help us now? There's Gimli still on the still on the horse. Still on Arad. Cool. They are herdsmen, not warriors. The people of Rohan need not fear them, as long as they cause no harm to their flock. There is one in this land that would have done well to heed the ends before now. If he had heeded them, the battle that has lately ended may have come to a different conclusion. Oh, Saruman! Right! right. Okay, I'm with you. Then I was like, I, one in this land. I thought he meant like in Rohan. I'm like, ooh, Wormtongue? Uh, Theoden? Uh, okay, no, right. Saruman. Of course, yeah. Got it. Okay, uh, good that he didn't take them into account. Totally agree. Let's proceed. Oh, okay. We're proceeding in rapid fashion, I see. All right. The fords of Eisenhower are a sad reminder of the good folk who fell in defense of the realm. Oh, yeah, I saw the... I was at the Battle of the Fords of Eisen when Theodred fell. Man, that was sad. Many good men fell at the fords, but their kingdom still stands. We are almost to Isengard and will bring report of their valiant sacrifice to the wizard who forced its need. Okay, let's rejoin our companions. Yeah, no, I want to be there to help when we deal with Saruman. That's it? Just coming to here? Where are we? How close? Oh, it's the fords. Uh-oh, here comes a horseman. Wait, where? You said a horseman approaches? He's not approaching at very great speed, I gotta tell ya. Tell you what, while you carry on waiting for the horseman to approach, I'm gonna take a peek at the forts if I can. Oh, I, I, I will talk to Amir. I just wanna see what I can see. Where are we? Uh... Oh, up there, Fords of Eisen. Okay. Can I see Isengard from here? I'm looking around the horizon, I don't see it. 
Okay. All right. Okay, Amir. Tell me more about this horseman who's riding with... Let us confront the rider. Okay. Yeah. Riding very slowly. Come on, Firefoot. Move it. Hey, hey. I know these dudes. Who rides in Rohan? Hey, that's a direct quote. Rarely do we get that. Rohan, you say? That is a glad word. Excellent. What is the meaning of your haste? Hey, Halbered! Fantastic, you guys made it! That's <laughs> good, boy. You know, Halbered, I went all the way around by Lothlorien and through the Great River and across Rohan from the other side, and I still got here first! What have you been doing with yourself? Hey, Halbered! What's up? I knew in my heart we would see you once more, but I did not think to find you in the company of my chieftain Aragorn. I know, you didn't expect me to make better time than you. Much has happened since we parted. Good, I am glad to hear it. Okay, we have found Aragorn between perils. All right. I get to talk to the other guys. This is great. What a different experience this encounter with the Grey Company is when it comes at the end of, uh, of Volume 3, isn't it? Cool. Okay, let's see. Hey, Rodnir. Perhaps you should have gone with me. Yeah, it's not that I came the shorter way. Goladir. You sought the treacherous leader of the Falcon Clan, but he gave you the slip? Oh, don't worry! Yeah, like a little girl killed him. It was awesome. Lou Brennan, we took him down. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, he got taken down by like a by like a third grader. It was pretty fantastic, actually. Um, yes, he's paid for his crimes. He abandoned some of his own people. Uh, right. Even Saruman's magic can't help Lou Brennan now. Nope. Absolutely not. Okay. Thank you on behalf of your fallen kinsmen. Great. Yeah, no, that was... We settled with Lou Brennan. I beat him up like four times. Five. I don't know. Lots of times. Callan Glad. She's not into you, Callan Glad. I'm sorry. She's not into you. Um, okay. A long goodbye after all. Though the intervening days have been eventful. What have you been doing? You keep mentioning eventfulness, but not telling me. Um, I think Halberd keenly felt the burden of his duty after you left us, for he was not sure how best to proceed. Okay. But you found Aragorn. Great. Agreed. Um, okay, the sons of Elrond. Halberd carries the gift of Arwen. I remember meeting Arwen, and she gave me the standard he gave to Hal... Give to Halberd. Hey, Coronier. Okay. Our errand is not ended, though its first goal will be now accomplished. That's right, we're headed to Isengard. Absolutely. Um, we. Oh, we're going to rescue Lothrandir, huh? Uh, okay. Great. And I, I know that Saruman had him prisoner, so... Hey, yeah, we gotta rescue Lothwind here. Yeah. More reasons to converse with Saruman than you believed. Can we negotiate? For Lothwind here? Lothwind here is the one who was in Forakel, which means he's the one who helped me defeat Gun Ein, who was now working for Saruman, so that can't go well. All right. Where are my, where am I now? Oh, well, further along. Okay. No hills are not on fire. Okay, Halberd. 
I believed we would see each other again, but I did not know it would be so soon. Great. Um, sending me away from you is not an easy decision, but Theodred had need of my aid. That's so true. I didn't actually save him, but I helped. Um, yeah. Perhaps it contributed to the resolve of the Aurlingus? Possibly. Possibly. The Grey Company has done what it set out to do. That's right. We have ridden to our chieftain in Rohan. Are you guys never going to tell me what you've been doing? I thought it's been all eventful and stuff. Glad to see you again, Halberd. I have much to think about and little time in which to do so. <laughs> when I spoke uh, to you of the Dunedain, you didn't suspect I'd traveled with him in recent days. Okay. Perhaps it is the wisdom of Elrond behind your silence. He is never quick to volunteer information, which makes the word of his sons even more curious. Okay, right, you got some decisions to make, Aragorn. I'm most curious to see what we will find in Isengard. Okay. We must find if Lothrendir still lives. I agree. Nice to be going to, to uh, Isengard to rescue somebody. I think that's cool. Let Gandalf speak with Saruman for weeks, if that is his desire. My thoughts are for my kinsmen. Let us ride along the road to Isengard. Okay. Remain alert. Okay. I'm riding along. I'm remaining alert. Okay. Here we are, along the northward road. We're riding. What's down there? Former orc camps. Okay. Oh, I don't know where I am. Is this Grimbold's camp? It is. This is Grimbold's camp. Oh, man. That's awful. That is the tent. It's right in front of which I met Grimbold, my favorite of the Rohira captains. I was so excited to meet Grimbold. Oh, yeah. See, now I remember these hills. I see where we are now. Yeah, I fought Dunlendings all around there. Oh, man. Okay. No, see, I thought this was an orc camp. I thought it was farther up, but no, no, that's Grimbold's camp. Got it, got it, okay. See? Staying aware. Riding north, staying aware. That's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, it had dreams down there. Yep. In Grimbold's camp. Now we're coming up by the Pillar of the White Hand here pretty soon. There it is. A curious stillness covers the land and pools of water stand near the road. Where? Where are the pools of water? I mean, there's the river, but... And the river looking kind of normal. Gandalf, what's the story? Ah, oh, there's the white hand broken down. has been much changed since last you beheld it. Oh yeah, there's the white hand. Oh, there's the finger. All stained with blood. Nice. Okay, so this used to be a better road. Where's the water? There are also a lot more mobs here the last time I was here. Oh, 
Okay, is this the water? Yep. Oh, look at that. It's deep, too. Okay. That's nasty water. Still, the waters have receded a very great deal. Nice. Orthonk's still looking pretty cool. Big gaps in the wall. Is that what I'm seeing? I think so. Front gates ripped all to pieces. Check. Okay, hang on. Let me get on my regular horse. Since apparently... There's no, uh, there are no mobs around here in the, in the thorns anymore. What happened to that cave that was over here? Still there? No? Uh, yeah, this one. No? Okay, so that's collapsed. Alright, so the goblin warg caves have all closed up. Stay away from the nasty water. Walls of Isengard. Smoke coming up from the inside. These walls are looking mostly intact over here. I see the front gate. Yeah. Blue is that I will need a tetanus shot now. very walls have been damaged by some force. Oh, yeah. Just ripped straight out. Hey, there's a stable master here now. Grand! I am afraid of what is happening to these lands. Oh, there they are! Oh, they're smoking. What... Mary, what's up? Oh, Mary looks like he's hacking up a lung. I think he went swimming too? Come down well, with hello them? There. Hi! What's wrong with your respiratory system? Yeah. I'm gonna take some deep breaths. No, you're both having problems here. This does not look good. Hello hey. there! It's been a long time. Good to see you, Pippin. Welcome to Isengard. Thank you! That's great. Um, I've had a number of adventures. That is very true. Uh, you came a long way from Lothlorien, absolutely. Um, yeah, you think they need fresh water? Guitar came, I absolutely agree. Um, until you connect, uh, correct me, otherwise I'm going to pronounce your screen name with a H in the middle, because that's cooler, right? Um, so yeah, no, they're not eating, they're smoking, Erstarg, that's clear there. Um, and they don't seem to have any food to hand, which is a little bit strange, but, um... Okay. Most of the trip was unpleasant, owing to our new friends Ugluk and Grishnak. Um... Hey, we never got to see Grishnak. Well, I mean, his body got burned, I know, but, like, we never got an instance or anything. That'd be cool. Um... I do believe I've grown several inches taller, right? Not metaphorically. Okay. Tell me I get a session play. I want to I wanna marry I and pip in session play. I think confuse you on purpose. Okay. He gets a chance to do that so infrequently. Right? Um, okay, so do you think we'll get a marching across... Uh, uh, orc dragging across Rohan... Session play? That would be cool. Okay, let's see. We have gone from the fire back into the frying pan for once. <laughs> okay. Uh, right, you were dragged across Rohan. 
Treebeard brought you here. You found some pipeweed. Look for the pipeweed Mary mentioned. Okay. Is there more pipeweed, Mary? Okay, let's see. There's the gatehouse. Let's go inside the gatehouse here. Yep, so the walls have sprung a bit of a leak there. Filled with rubble and floodwaters, huh? Alright, where's the pipe weed? Burning lamp lying in the water. This place is huge. Oh, there we go. You like my pronunciation better? Chim is fine. Chim is fine, but Chim... I mean... Come on now. That's cool, right? Okay. All right, uh, very good. Bring it to Mary outside. Okay, all right, let's go. Let's go back to Mary. He needs more pipe weed to assist him in his respiratory difficulties. Apparently, not sure that's going to help long term, Mary. Just really not. But that's okay. All right. Erokev, yeah, it's interesting how you can see a progression in the evilness of the White Hand from the stonework version to the banner version. Certainly the stonework version out on the pillar of the hand is pretty serious. It looks very claw-like. Um, this, a little more neutral, right? The hand held up like the hand of the Argonoff, right? Just a little bit, you know, kind of could still go both ways. Look at the door. Sorry. This, the curves at the top combined with these branches coming down. I thought it was a little heart. This is like the honeymoon suite of Orthanc or something. Okay. All right, Mary. Oh, who's come? It's Aragorn. Allow me to refill my pipe, and I can resume my story. Okay. You're going to tell me about Treebeard and the Ants. Yes, you were. Oh, but Aragorn is troubled. Interlude the moot. Pip and I met Treebeard after we escaped from the Orcs. Okay, he's an Ent, you know. Treebeard, you mean, not Pippin. Right. Yeah, tell me how you met him. Sweet session play. Okay, Aragorn, what is it? That pipeweed was not grown at Isengard. That's right. It came from the Shire. Exactly. It does not bear a resemblance. Wait. D it does not bear a resemblance only. Right, okay. It came from the Shire. His interest in the Shire may have extended only to its pipeweed. Oh, yeah. No, I'm sure that was fine. I do not doubt Saruman's ability to strike, even now. Talk to Gandalf by the base of Orthanc. Okay, will do, but excuse me, I have an Ent moot to attend, if it's all the same to you, Aragorn. Session play as Treebeard? Awesome! That's even better! Yeah, no way I'm skipping that one. Okay, Gravity says, pay close attention to the behavior of the hobbits. All right, will do. Will do. We didn't see him at first, and why not? Uh, we had never seen anything like Treebeard before. <laughs> a 
except for trees, I suppose. <laughs> he does look rather treeish. <laughs> oh. I'm not going to tread on you. Small creature. Nice. I remember this shelf. Remember Hill Shelf Step were the names the Hobbit suggested for this place to Treebeard? Uh, so you can see how they've, they've made it very shelf-like, right? So that it would fit that description. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'll talk to the small creature. Okay, um, you've never met an Ent before. Your name is Peregrine Took, but my friends call me Pippin, or Pip. I am a hobbit. Boy, these are hasty folk. Ooh, what skills do I have? Sorry, no, I've never heard of hobbits before. We were always getting left off the old lists in stories. So sad, isn't it, Pippin? Add a line for us. Something like, let's see, half-grown hobbits, the hole dwellers? Nice! Half-grown hobbits, the hole dwellers. Put them in next to man. And you've got it. Hey, they actually did the line straight from the book. Because, see, they, they often, just to, to explain, I mean, most of you, I think, are Lotro folks and know this perfectly well, but they very rarely use quotations directly word for word out of the book because the text copyright is protected separately, separately from the trademarks, the names and everything. Um... So they technically, they can do it, but they, uh, they generally don't so as to sort of be on the safe side. And, um, you know, that's uh, uh, very, all very prudent and understandable. Okay, so, cool. Sorry, just for a second checking over here. Uh, we've had some more donations come in. That is awesome. Excellent. Excellent. I see that new donation there. Um, cool. Yeah, should have the should the hobbits have a line separate from men is a good question, JJ. Um, I think they might as well, right? But hang on a second, I didn't look at my skills. What is this? Fangorn's footfall. Lift a mighty foot and bring it down with the force of the earth itself. Okay, so that's the end stomp, and what's this one? Heavy smash. Tree beard smash. Got it. And left and right, crush the ground before him with two powerful swings. Okay, cool. I'm not going to do this in the Hobbit's mind, but that's fine. Pleasure to meet you. Marriottic Brandybuck, but my friends call me Mary. Bring your new Hobbit friends to Welling Hall. He has a peculiar way about him, but he seemed friendly enough to us. He offered to take us to his home, or one of them. He has a few. He has a few. Ooh. Where is this? In the Entwood? I've never even been to this region. I was at the eaves of Fangorn and didn't realize that it went further. That is so cool. Whoa. Yes, Estel, I think the answer to your question is yes. Um, um, bear Bee Hunter is one of the lines in that, well, one of the half lines anyway, uh, in, the, in the, the old lists. Is that a reference to the interpretation of Beowulf's name uh, as a kenning for bear, literally uh, Bee Hunter, well, literally Bee Wolf, right? Um, 
Uh, yes. Yeah, I, 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 I do suspect that that's, that that's it. Um, okay. This is cool. I'm just looking at the map. is awesome. Okay. Look around here. Ah, see, look at the trailing beards of lichen. Right? Untidy. All right, Pippin. <laughs> you don't see a house anywhere. Well, hey. Yeah, these trees are huge. Now what? Uh. Uh. This is Welling Hall. We gotta go through the waterfall, right? Yeah. It was a rather lovely place, actually. Quite homey, in its own way. All right, there's the table. No hobbit-sized chairs. Now I have to sit you up on the table. He offered us a drink that would keep us... Uh, what did he say? Green and growing. Green and growing for That's a right. long, long time. That was it. That's it. Where are the... Oh, there it is. Wow. I mean, he had jars, but that's a little bit more shaped than I expected. Who makes his pottery? Hmm. Mushrooms. I'm trying to figure what these things are. Right there. Those stones? Over there? Or pots? Hmm. Not sure. Okay, look, they got up on the table. Cool. Pick up three bowls in which to serve your friends and yourself. Okay. All right, because I got that. All right, and the bowl... I go, there, there's the other bowl. My branches are blocking the bowl. Okay, all right. Well, those are huge bowls. I like it. <laughs> we are drinking our own body volume in water. We're in ant draft. Whoa, Pippin downs it. <laughs> Very the drink tasted like water, but it was even better and more refreshing. A healthy sensation course from the hair on my toes to the hair on my head. Nice. <laughs> that was so cool. All right, uh, as if I had bountiful reserves of energy and could use them for anything at all. Our conversation eventually turned to Saruman and Isengard. That's right. Trebear decided something had to be done. Right, we must stop it. But it is easier to say stop than to do it. All right. So where are we now? Where is Entmoot? Ah. Where these reputation stars are? Reputation with the Ents of Fangorn Forest? <sighs> Are all of the Ents like you? Well... You know, yes and no. Our eyes are alike, as you will notice, Pippin. It's darn dingle. I like having to look down to keep from, to make sure I don't step on the hobbits. Hmm. 
I sent sounds. Now, Ents take a long time to discuss things. A long time. <laughs> a very long time. <laughs> What else do we have here? We've got Bald Bark and Quick Beam! There's Quick Beam over there, and... Oh no, it's Beach Bone! Oh dear, hang on. Let's go meet Beach Bone. You guys remember Beach Bone, right? Ugh. Um... Meeting Beachbone, this is like, it's like meeting one of those Rohirrim in the poem, right? It's like you're in the song and that's bad news. Beachbone. Yeah, because Beachbone, of course, is the name of the Ent casualty at the, uh, the attack on Isengard. Yeah. A quick beam. And he's got those evergreen leaves there. Okay, bald bark, what is it? Whoa! Where did the hobbits go? <laughs> the hobbits are in time lapse photography scampering around. Sitting impatiently, smoking, <laughs> lying down, kicking their feet. <laughs> that is fantastic! So as we're having what appears to us a normal conversation, because we're doing this from Treebeard's perspective, there are the hobbits flitting around like insects. That is hysterical. <laughs> I love that. I love that. <laughs> That's really cool! Okay. Greetings to you, my friend from long ago, when the forest was young and we were not full grown. Many seasons have turned since last we spoke together in the light of either sun or moon. Boy, it's really hard to do a, you know, sort of entish elocution in translation, right? It is many ent strides from my home. Why have you called me to this place? You greet Bald Bark. Did we meet Bald Bark in earlier quest lines? Um, okay, anyway. Reminisce about conversations shared in absent friends. Speak of Saruman. He had been made aware of the wizard's crimes. He worked great evil in the reaches of the forest near my own home. Do we meet Baldbark in the Eaves of Fangorn quest lines? Uh, okay, yeah. Yeah, exactly, Tarlonio. We eventually speak of Saruman. Convince Beachbone that something must be done. I feel guilty convincing Beachbone. Hang on, I'm gonna watch out for those hobbits. Not step on them. I love the time lapse thing. Beachbone, a handsome ant. His paths have crossed with you several times recently, and memories of those pleasant conversations are still somewhat fresh. Oh. Man, that's so sad. After a polite amount of time, your words turn to the matter of Saruman. You speak of our neighbor as if he is an enemy, and indeed he does not seem to be the friend he once was. Fumes rise from his home, and the smell gives my nose offense, but that is not a crime. Uh, orcs, too. Or what's the evidence that Mark Saruman is their master? Huh. So Beachbone. It seemed to us they might discuss things forever. Beachbone is anti going to Isengard, huh? What are they doing now? There they are flitting around. Where are they going? I can't even keep track of them. Oh, there they are now on this rock. Intermittently. Where are they going? Oh, there they are. More rapid smoking of many pipes. Okay. Exchange pleasantries with Quick Beam. 
Alright, he has an idea of the wizard's crimes already, yes. He is a tree killer. This story is taking longer than I thought it would. <laughs> Are you hungry? I have become a little peckish. <laughs> All right. They listen as we explain that Quickbeam will watch over them. Feel certain they will like the young ant. I think you might consider the slow drip of honey in the comb quite hasty in comparison to yourself. <laughs> Awesome. Oh, that was classic. That's really brilliant, actually, to do this from Treebeard's point of view and have it look like it's in a normal time frame. Very cool. Eating tomatoes here. We've now been officially broadcasting for actually 12 hours. I'm not sure it's quite official yet, actually. Come to think of it. How long has the stream been going on? 11 hours and 54 minutes, indeed. Very close. All right, now it is, it is midnight. Okay, oh, hang on. <laughs> Come on now, I don't think all of this hacking that Mary and Pippin are doing is quite Tolkien approved. That is enough for now, I think. Quite a tale, was it not? That was quite a tale. I totally agree. Perhaps I will tell you the last march of the Ents after you have eaten. Okay. But I am going to get to hear the rest of the tale, right, Mary? Yes, Guitar Shim, I have, uh, I, di I didn't have cucumbers uh, today, so I have got uh, tomatoes, uh, little, uh, little beef jerky down there to, uh, you know, get me going through the day here. You know, I, I, Dolorous Stroke, I can't help but think that it is some kind of anti-smoking message, right? That, I mean, there's a lot of smoking in the game because there's, you know, pipe, you grow your own pipe weed and you smoke it, you know, in your pipes and everything. And it's a, I mean, it's a very Lord of the Rings thing. You got, you, you know, they kind of, I, I admire the fact that they didn't completely succumb to, um, you know, to uh, sort of political correctness, anti-tobacco stuff uh, to get completely away from that element of Hobbit culture. Um, but this, this is the first time I've, uh, I've seen what really does look like, uh, uh, some sort of anti-smoking propaganda going on there. But, okay, so I guess the Hobbits are done talking, so I'm going to go talk to Gandalf by the base of Orthanc. Uh... Looking nasty. Can I ride my horse in here? What is that? Goblin corpses and uh, tarp and weapons displayed on. The tarp. That's great. Oh, man, the rangers aren't going to have me organize those, are they? Those rangers. Hey, what are the, why are their orc banners still up? Let's get rid of those. Orthonk still looking indomitable. This is a big improvement improvement to Orthonk here. I mean, not the corpses floating in the water so much, but much less dangerous to walk around. Oh, 
Oh yeah, there's a front gate, all right. Oh, by the way, okay, so hang on. Trivia winners. I have trivia winners. Okay. Let's see, sorry, I'm scrolling. Where'd it go? Aha. Okay. We do have a clear winner of the Tolkien Trivia Session. And uh, the, the really the runaway winner of the Tolkien Trivia Session is Erucheb. Congratulations, Erucheb. Um, Erucheb, who scored 19 points, and the second place was Marie at 8, actually. So that is... Uh, uh, that is a, a remarkable performance, Erukeb, on the uh, Tolkien Trivia. Congratulations. Um, uh, excellent. Excellent. Yeah, so Erukeb won. So Erukeb, you get the uh, access to the course archive of the Signum class of your choice. So uh, uh, just send us an email, donate at signumu.org. Let us know which, uh, uh, which course you would like to... Uh, to get access to, and we will set you up. Congratulations. All right. Yeah, there you go. Sweet. Okay. Excellent. Strong work. Strong work. Okay. I'll do another... Donation update at the end. Okay, sorry. I was just, uh, saw the note that trivia results were up, and I wanted to not forget about that again. Good job, Erekeb. Okay, here we are. Who's here? Oh, just Gandalf and Treebeard. Hey there, Treebeard. So Thad and the rest haven't come in yet, huh? What's Treebeard say? Okay, that's a little better. <laughs> what else would Treebeard say? <laughs> Aragorn is right to advise caution. Good. Yeah. Um, Saruman has suffered a defeat, but we must not be overconfident. All right. He is cunning and full of tricks, and even a cornered beast can do great harm. Right? He's not safe to approach. Okay. Tell Gandalf that Aragorn and that Aragorn. Wait, I tell Gandalf that Aragorn said much the same. Right, okay. Uh, he learned something from you after all. Okay, you're taking credit from Aragorn's accomplishments. There is a wizard to manage now. Hey, that's Treebeard's line. That first one is surprisingly high-pitched. The work of the Ents here is done, but Gandalf's work is only beginning. Yours too, perhaps. Uh, I do not understand this desire for Borarum adventure. Isn't doesn't Borarum mean orcs? Huh. Do I enjoy standing in a green field with the sunlight in my face? Or do I not enjoy that? Sure. Do I not enjoy drinking deeply of cold mountain w waters? Yeah, that sounds great. But anyway, okay, the waters will cleanse this place, but some orcs may still linger. Search the surface and see what you find. Okay, you hope we find some sign of Lothrandir. 
Good. All right. So let's, 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 we ants allowed a number of Dunlendings to leave in peace, but saw no other friendly folk. Okay. All right. So I'm, I, I got to search, make sure there are no orcs hiding. So we're new map. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's search. Let's see what's over there. Something glowing blue. Oh, you're not an end. Where's the end? <gasps> is that him? Oh man, it is. Beach bone. No. Calvin, go ahead. Do you think Saruman understands what he has taken from this world? Uh, you mean the end? Okay. Ants are slow to be roused, but when they are, there's little that can stand before them. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm afraid I know who that is. Can we recognize him from the moot? Let's see. Yup. It's him. Poor Beachbone. Mentioned by name in the text, uh, by Mary, I think. Okay, let's see. What is inside that little dome? Oh man, the body of Beachbone, so sad. Just an eerie glow. Okay, no further questions. Oh, man. Anyone want to bet how, how long past midnight will go? So, okay, so we started a little bit late. And uh, to be honest, this is why I put the Lotro stream at the end, because I was like, I don't want to have to squeeze it into a narrow space, because I don't know how long it'll take to accomplish whatever it is I want to accomplish. How many, uh... Hang on, let me, uh... Let me check this out here. How many, um, how many quests do we have in, or how many uh, chapters in Book 14? I'd love to get to the end of Book 14 if we could. Let me just check here. I'm just looking up on the wiki to see. Book 14. Eight. Wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. So I'd like to do that. I'd like to finish Book 14. If we can get to the end of Volume 3, I'll be uh, I'll be pretty happy. doesn't look like there are any, like, appendices quests, which, as I recall in Book 2, took forever. All right. We're continuing to explore. Let's see. What else would we find? Oh, wait. Treebeard and a dead orc, apparently. But wait... What should we be looking for? I'm trying to think of other things that would describe the body of Beachbone. We could have guessed. Um, trying to remember details that are mentioned in the book that they would want to make reference to. Hmm. Huh, not sure. Let's see. The site of a great battle for many corpses float in the water here. All right, what's interesting about this dead orc? Hey, it's Kiriana! Hey, I'm being stream-bombed! <laughs> Almost every bone in the orc's body was broken. That's it? Oh, okay, so right, these were just, they were completely stomped. Hey, when I was doing the session play, I never got to use Treebeard's attacks. Hello, Kiriana. Alright, 
I'm gonna get back on my horse. Whoa! The claw of his tree beard looms into view. Alright, let's see. Well, I figured you'd eventually get to use some gravity, right? But, uh, I didn't in that session play. But, hopefully we get other chances. Oh, uh, wait. Wounded done lending. Oh, are you good? What's going on, man? You, uh, need anything? You're just, okay. You're just hanging out? I don't get to talk to you at all? Hey, this one's still alive. That must be an oversight. Up against the mountainside? Yeah. Hey there, I was about to call you Living Rick, but you're... time is through! Curse the trees! Curse the trees. Okay, um... You think only my kind perished when the flood came? There were prisoners in the pits, and now they are drowned rats. Their lives are on your conscience. Oh, dear. That's not good. Okay, so he just, for hate's sake, spat his last breath out at me. Uh, okay. Let's go this way to see Gandalf. At the gates of Orthanc again. Alright. It's a little harder to navigate around, uh, uh, around. Isengard now because you can't see the roads as well. Whoop, like I just almost blew past Gandalf. Okay. So, dead end. Dying orc. I do not doubt that the orc believed these words, but I do not. You don't, huh? Okay. An orc gains nothing by being truthful to us. but may derive satisfaction by bringing us sorrow. Okay, right. Motivated to lie. I hear you. You believe Lothrendir survives, but if he is not brought into the light soon, it may become too late. Search the deeps. Okay. I, oh. What do you got, Treebeard? I hope you have enough time yeah. to listen. Sure. I got time to listen to you, Treebeard. After all, it's only 12.20. Yeah, oh, you're going to tell me the tale, Treebeard? Let's do this. <laughs> Treebeard gives it lots of thought. Okay. Ends do not often get asked to tell stories. Not surprising. Okay. No, sure. Let's do this. An Entish storytelling. Yes. The last march of the Ents. Oh, this is what I've been waiting for. Oh, Ethelot, I didn't actually comment on that, although I was thinking about it. Um, it makes sense. So Ethelot is asking the sensible question, why didn't, uh, or what What do I think about the, the rangers coming early? Because, of course, the rangers don't come in the book until after they leave Isengard, and whereas here they come beforehand. I'm not, I mean, given the fact, of course, Ethelod, that we're... Marched. 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 Marched to war. <laughs> to Isengard. Though eyes in guard be strong and hard, as cold as stone and bare as bone. We go, we go, we go to war to hew the, the, the 
Yeah, who hew the stone and break the door. For bowl and bow are burning now. I love Merry and Pippin perching there. That is fantastic. All right. Um, so anyway, yeah, so just to quickly finish answering your question, since Treebird won't mind waiting around, um, uh, it makes sense to me. I, I wasn't surprised um, as soon as they started talking about the Lothrendir plot line um, and I remembered that he was still missing and I was I was guessing and kind of hoping we would get back to kind of close that loop. Um, so given that they have like an investment in searching for Lothrendir, who is one of them, it doesn't surprise me that they incorporated them uh, in. And especially given the fact that we're ending Volume 3 here, you know, before the transition to the Paths of the Dead, it made a certain amount of sense uh, to bring them in. So that's, I mean, it is interesting because there are very few places in the game where they just flat deviate in that way um but you know whenever i'm watching an adaptation or whenever i'm participating in an adaptation like this and there is that kind of a change the question i ask myself is okay what's the effect of the change right like what is the thematically you know what is being uh, accomplished by that change and then do i think that that thing that's being accomplished is worthwhile you know do i think it's worth it the change that they've made, and I would say yes, I do. Uh, um, that you know, what is being accomplished is being able to bring them in and help them to close the plot lines that were opened up over the course of uh, uh, of uh, part three, right? Um, with the long trip down and the the capture by Lou Brennan and the the coming to Isengard before, um, so that that seems to me to be uh, to be worth it and thinking about adding this kind of prisoner rescue scenario, right, uh, to the trip to Isengard, um, I, I mean, there's nothing like that, right? When they get to Isengard in the book, it's dead, right? The only thing stirring and living are ants and, uh, um, and, uh, and Wormtongue and Saruman, right? Um, so the idea, but the idea that they might, that they would have had prisoners, that works for me, right? Like he w might well have had prisoners in his prison, and what then when the flood waters come in? Um, it's at least to me an interesting kind of question. It seems to me plausible. Um, so it's kind of a, um, kind of a fun what if moment, right? Um, so I like it. All right. Um, okay. So let's uh, quick me. What you got? That was a rousing march. Oh, I didn't get to my favorite line. To land of gloom with tramp of doom. With, uh, 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 with doom we come, we come, we come. To, to land of gloom with tramp of doom is my favorite line in the whole Ent marching poem. Um, we have come to the Ring of Isengard sooner than I thought we would, and our business with the wizard waits before us. Quick beam peers at the hobbits clinging to the upper branches. Hold on, little ones. Protect quick beam and the other ends from Saruman's forces. Okay, ooh, wait, I get more. Was the hobbits get to throw stones? Mariotix rock. Mary does 4,839 points of damage with that rock? Wow. That's amazing. What's this? Peregrine's projectile. Okay. Uh, the Ent Draft has done wonders for the strength of Pippin's arm. He does 8,700 damage. Wow! Okay. Alright, so I've got some serious firepower perched in my upper branches there. That's, that's cool. <laughs> Alright. Okay, protect Quickbeam and the other ends from Saruman's forces. Let's do this, Quickbeam. Whoa, this way? The gate's that way. Oh. Oh, we're standing over here out of the way. We're being stealthy. Do we get to see the army march out? Strike the wall! The, the gates are... Oh, oh, hey! Orcs! Hey! Boom! Stomp! Smash! Yeah. 
This is awesome. Hey, get him, Mary. Get him, Pippin. Oh, they're throwing rocks. You got him. I'll finish him. Oh, True Beard, or Quick Beam got him. Okay. Oh, we got more? Oh, we got more. Whoa. Flail. Smash. Stomp. Boom. Yeah. His supply of orcs runs low. We got them all. Wow, okay. Whoa! Hey, there's more. Get him, Pippin! Oh, I'm too far away. I'm out of Pippin's range. Stomp! Smash! Hey, don't you attack, Quick Beam! You come over here and say that. How many? How much morale do I have? 2.5 million? That makes me feel fairly safe. This is really satisfying. Okay. Oh, here comes the wall. Nice, making some good progress here, fellas. Excellent. Aren't they supposed to tunnel through it like rabbits? This way, okay. Let's go. Boy, Quick Beam is kind of uppity. Oh, excellent. More Bura Room. We got more Ents over there smashing into the walls. Okay, oh, here I go. Throw rocks out of Mary and Pippin. I'm still too far away. They've got power, but no range on these rocks. Good job there, hobbits. Okay, whoa, big crowd of orcs. Yeah, oh, bring it. Bring it. Mary will throw rocks at you. Draw your, oh, and smash the lot of them. Oh, yeah. Now stomp. Trample. Throw a rock at him, Merry and Pippin. There you go. Pippin got him. I'm so tall, I can't even see them, though. Uh, hey, can you throw rocks at him? There you go. Oh, take that. That's just not fair. The two of us beating up on one orc. Quick Beam must not be defeated. What would it take to defeat Quick Beam? Okay. Hey, Gussie Moose, thanks for coming by. Seize and grasp, hew the stone, that's right. Their fingers just seem to freeze onto rock. All right. The gate cannot stand. I see him bring the gate down. Oh, the chubby orc throws him open. Nice. Awesome. Down they crumble. Excellent. You will gather the rest of our people while I press forward through the main gate into Isengard. Okay. 
the gate of Isengard could not hold us back. We were positively boom, boom, hasty. Get him, Pippin. Saruman had weapons of his own. Beachbone fought with smoke and fire. Oh man, Isengard when the walls fell. <laughs> we paid him back with water. Um, not getting a clear view of this tree beard. How old is Quickbeam compared to Treebeard? Well, younger, but I mean, he seems to be one of the younger Ents, but it's hard to understand exactly, really, what that not means. Not long after, one of his servants returned. Nice. Okay, Grima. There he is. I have worked some mischief. Well, yes, you might say that. His eyes dart left and right. What happened to Saruman? You bore messages for him from the king. <laughs> he, in, It is plain he served the wizard and was complicit in his design. Well, in the book, Gandalf tells him uh, about Grima. But I cannot swim. Do I get to throw him in? Oh, I wish that I could... Can, can I just pick him up and chuck him? I set a watch upon the tower. Saruman will work no further harm. Just keep an eye on Grima. I was going to stomp him, but oh well. Oh well. All right. Stomping orcs was as just as satisfying as I hoped. What does it feel like to control a creature as old as time? Well, he's not quite as old as time. Um, I, you know, I don't know how it feels to control a creature old as time, because I'm not steering Tom Bombadil, but... Also, oh, boy, I get the Fall Festival again. All right, let's see. That was awesome, Treebeard. That is the tale, little one. Great question, Eridrush. Hang on a second. Let's see. I have not seen Saruman since Grima Wormtongue came to the tower. His schemes may be at an end. The water seems to have dampened his spirits. And then he laughs at his own joke. That's good. Um, you enjoyed telling the tale. That's good. Um, did Grima really eat Lotho? Great question. Um... No, I don't think he did. Um, I think that Saruman is mocking him. Saruman seems to be determined to dehumanize Grima. And I think the allegation of cannibalism that he's making there at the end, um, you know, no, Grima is not really nice, right? Um, he's uh, trying to make... I, I, <laughs> Saruman has lost almost everything, right? So what does he... The one thing he keeps with him is his one last slave. And 
he seems to comfort himself in his own weakness by keeping around one person that he can, you know, tread on, right? One person that he can demean and lower beneath himself. Um, and he has fallen, Saruman has fallen, from being among one of the great to being essentially like a an average person, right? He's not exactly like an average person, but he's, um, you know, anyway, he's fallen down in stature. And so what does he do? He tries to push Grima down below him. So no, I don't think he's actually, um, I don't think he's actually uh, cannibalistic, Grima. But I do think that he's, um, uh, I, I, again, I think that's, I, I, I think that's Saruman. Hey, oh, again, if you're going to remind Both me. Both of you may yet live right. if uh, we well, hurry. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go check that out. Where am I? Chapter six. Oh, look at me. Okay. No problem. Let's go look for Lothran Deer. Okay. Come on. Lagging a little bit here. All right. Get back on your horse, Wigand, and let's go search. Go back to the prisons. I can't get through there. Oh, right, here we go. I wonder... Wigan, do you have your old prison garb? Yeah. No. Okay. I thought I had equipped his... No, I didn't. Okay. I thought I had equipped his, uh... Uh... His Isengard prison garb in uh, his cosmetics. But I didn't. It must be one of my other characters I did that. It must be my completionist Dunland character that I did that for. Okay. All right. So, wait a second. Where are we heading? Down into the basement. Right? Okay. Let's see, where are we? Through here? Enter the flooded deeps. Yes. Okay. Oh, Guitar Kim, the the Dodgers won. Dodgers and Astros both won today, huh? Good to know. Hey, is that? Oh, it's cold here. I'm like, is that Lothrin you're just standing right there? If Lothrin Deer is down here, we will find him. I don't remember Galadir sounding like Spalvi. Anyway, whatever. The pit has seen better days. <laughs> well, I mean, it depends on your point of view, Galadir. Like, flooded and no longer uh, with orcs, like, serving as slave masters. I'm not sure that's a... Uh, I'm not sure it's actually... This is an improvement. I mean, I was here before as a slave. This is an improvement. What few of Saruman's lackeys still lurk in the depths no longer carry out his will? Again, improvement, Goadir, right? They are busy scavenging for treasure. Many doors remain locked, and it could be one of these scavengers has picked up the key to whatever cell holds our friend. Okay, so we're just... Your plan, Goadir, is to search the body of all the dead... the bodies of all the dead orcs. Uh, no, or scavengers. That is a little bit more efficient. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, you're a little over level for me, but not too bad. Man, you are pretty surly. Would you stop knocking me out? It's really annoying. 
here. I had been paying attention as I'm progressing through the, uh, the rest of the epic there. It's how the levels were getting back ahead of me again. Wigan was almost caught up before. This is what happens when you cruise through on the epic quest line. Making some progress now, Wigan. Slowly but surely. Okay, that wasn't time consuming. Well, that answers my question. How many of them do I want to fight at a time? One is my answer to that question. Okay, hang on, let me get some food here. Let's do some things. Time to utilize some consumables, I think. Yeah, I know, Brandon, right? You'd think that Gulladir might come and be some of some assistance here. But no. Oh, really? A hatchet? That's what he had? Ah, I didn't stomp him in time. Got it. I don't think I'm in, in danger of death here, uh, Druid's Fire, but I'm far enough behind these guys in level that it, they just take a lot of killing. Oh! Oh no! I didn't quite stomp you in time. Come on now. Just being in danger of being a year danger of being a year older after defeating one of these guys. Hey, you know it's the glamorous life of a guardian, you know what I'm saying? Like on the one hand he's not gonna kill me, but on the other hand, I'm in he's in not that much danger for me either, so we're sort of at an impasse, he and I. No, champions aren't this slow. I know. More offense. Hey! Look at that. Not bad, Wigan. Finally. Uh, okay. That's two. Why am I defeating surly scavengers again? Looking for keys? Did I find a key? <laughs> there, guys. All right, more scavengers. Yeah, yeah, you come over here. Okay, there's some of my Mythgard peeps gonna come in and help me with this here. That'll speed things up a little bit. 
That is a little bit better. Yeah. I've got help. Let's bring them both over. Okay. A key drops from the scavenger's hand. Could Gulladir improbably be correct? I don't know. Let's go up and talk to Gulladir. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Ardrush, for accelerating that increasingly tedious portion of this quest line for me there. Okay, Gulladir. Ah, you found a key. Yeah. I have found half a dozen already. Okay, missed. I didn't realize this was a key gathering competition. Um, well, we'll keep looking. Return Won't to we? the surface and find Halvarad. You've exhausted most of the locked doors. Okay, find Halvarad, but Gaudir sounds disgusted. There are some buildings in the wall to which he has not yet gained entry. Okay. Um,. He's going to search the buildings northwest of the tower. Okay, so maybe he's above ground after all, huh? All right. We'll, we'll look there, Gulladir. No problem. What is that thing? Is that on fire underwater? I think it is. Wow. How resilient. <laughs> All right, mount up here again, Wigan. Let's see, um... Ah, Warrior's Heart Duration. That's what I'm talking about. Right there. And Vexing Blow Damage. Why not? Who doesn't like a little Vexing Blow Damage every now and again? Um, oh, no wait, this is not the one I'm wearing, is it? Nah. Which one am I wearing, this one? Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. All right. Little, little legendary item maintenance to uh, take care of here. All right. Let's go and find Halberad. Oh, yeah. End the raffle. Good plan. <laughs> Thank you, Sharon. All right. Let's end the raffle. Um, so let's do this. Boom. Hawkwind 45. Excellent. Hawkwind 45 is the winner of our drawing. Congratulations. So send an email to donate at signumu.org. Did you see that... Uh, Hawkwind45, are you still here? Did you see the... <laughs> exclamation point, waffle. Uh, do you know that? Do you know what you're choosing among, right? Our door prizes? If not, let me know, and I will... Uh, uh, I will... I'll put them back up again. Okay, let's see. Where are we? Oh, there we are. Here we are. Okay. Albert, what's going on? So... 
I found a key, and Galdir was making fun of me because he found a bunch of keys. Galdir sends more keys. Sends more keys. Very well. <laughs> okay. Um, there are doors enough. Lothran Deer must be behind one of them. This is an odd turn to the quest. Now we're just a wash in keys, and we got to figure out which one is which. Are you ready to continue the search for Lothran Deer? Totally ready. Let's do it, Halberd. There are many hidden rooms within the Ring of Isengard. Does my kinsman live still within one of these chambers? Halberd, I thought you were coming with me. Now you're just here as a disembodied voice? Uh, search the potted for some sign of Lothran deer. Okay. Oh, these guys are easy. Okay. They're only orange anyway. Will killing you do any good? Uh, let's see how this goes. Hi. Yeah. Why are you domed in green? That looks like I should somehow discourage you from doing that. Oh, see, this is much better. Longer than I would like, but okay. Let's see. Signs of Lothran deer. Oh man. A dead end. That looks like a dead end to me. Or maybe on the other side. Never mind. Take it back. I can get through, right? Yeah, here, hang on. Would you please? Don't bother me, Urukai. I'm going through. Alright, I can't get through there. Alright. Alright, just wanted to scout out the path, you know? Okay. Strong work there, Wigan. Let's see. Oh, hang on. Let him go there. Faster to not fight him than to fight him. Let's see what's through this doorway. An old railway system. Some mine carts. A dead end. Ooh, a really interesting... Get out of the way. There's an orc coming. Um... Is that another dead end? Kind of looks like it. All right, down we go. All right. Well, Rosie, you're just going to bed? Wow. You're up late, Rosie. What is it, 6 a.m.? <laughs> okay. Ooh, I get to descend onto the floor down there. Wait, wait, it's Halberd! Okay, I will descend down into the nasty water to talk to you, Halberd, because it's you. What'd you find? Okay, the well, Wall of Isengard is a warren of rooms and tunnels, each of which needs a different key, but don't worry, Goladir has a large collection by now. Uh, 
We're listening to the steady dripping of water. Who's coming? We're gonna be. We're gonna see Grima. No, a pox on you. Let's go nine. Yeah, the nameless one. Yeah, tell us where Lothrendir is. Oh no, what have they done to Lothrendir? Are we sure we want to see him? Oh dear. Has Saruman performed some kind of hideous experiment upon him? I don't think he can wraithify him. Has he just been tortured? Oh, he's wandering all over the place. Is he blinded? Oh dear. Did you put out his eyes? Oh, man. This looks grim. He tried to resist. Oh. Saruman broke his mind. Oh, dear. Oh, well, that was abrupt. Don't worry, I'll tank for you, Halberin. I've totally beaten her several times before. Whoa, that was abrupt too. You weren't actually dead. You were still doing all right. Tell us the truth. Northrend, dear man. Not looking too good. He shakes and convulses a pitiable figure. Of all Saruman's crimes, this may be the one that strikes nearest to your heart. Yeah, oh man. Poor Lothrin, dear. Foul. Foul? Foul? Hmm. Falcon. Oh, the Falcon. Falcon clan. Falcon. Does it have to do with the Falcon clan? Lou Brennan. Killed by an elementary school kid. It was cool. What's he trying? Oh, here she is. Rodney, would you keep an eye on her? I don't trust her one bit. Though that's a really interesting kind of... Look at that shoulder thing she's got there. It's kind of cool. Um, how about you're just gonna turn your back on her there? Galadir, what do you think about this? He's a shell of himself. Agreed, this is awful. This woman is not, and Halbert is not. Roth oh, he cannot avenge himself, so you will do it in his memory. Oops. You're just gonna you're just gonna offer? Oh, we're going to fight her again. Um, I'm not sure... Yeah, I'm comfortable with the whole... Just vengeance thing. Will her death ease even the smallest portion of our grief? Right, yeah, let's not... Um, let's not be hasty. Galadir knows that. Right, well, yeah. He's the grief guy. Oh, now he's turning his back. Oh, dear. You will never know what you and your master took from us. No words of mine can make you feel what we feel, what we felt, for our kinsmen. Okay. In Forakel, Wathrandir showed you kindness. That is really actually true. No others of my kin would have done the same. Yeah. Oh, did he just collapse? Wathrandir, CPR in the water. Who's sorry? Halberet is sorry. Oh, you're apologizing to Lothrain, dear. Oh, man, he just collapsed. What do you have to say for yourself, nameless one? I've seen anger in her eyes before today and fear, but never 
she a, has a pained look. I thought she had a pained look when I kicked her the heck out of her tribe, or got her kicked out of her tribe, and her name taken away. She was a little pained that day. The first time I fought her and kicked her, bu- kicked her butt. All you wanted was a name. You wanted to be someone again. Now, n- notice how, again, this is a very Tolkienian theme, right? Not the whole... No one ever really has their name taken away like that, but the significance of the name, right? And that she has no name, that's a very Tolkienian thread there. Uh, This is what you wanted, and no one will miss you. No one will cry when you have gone. Not at the rate you're going. You've taken names from the world. Why do you serve Saruman? I don't know. You should repent. No, you gain nothing. Join the light side. Okay, good on you. Speak for yourself. Cool. You will not allow you and your friends to leave this place as you are. Uh, what does that mean? Okay, what, what words do we need to hear? Lothrandir is still alive. What? Huh? Lothrandir is still alive? What are you talking about? Was that just like a wind-up zombie dressed as Lothrandir, or what's going on? Um, oh, Neonor had her name taken away? Nah. I mean, not exactly. I mean, she had amnesia, right? So she couldn't remember who she was. Uh, she forgot herself. But it's not... I wouldn't say it's exactly the same thing. Um, not the kind of, like, we are excising your name. Like, this th- as a social statement, right? You have lost your place with our clan, and so we are stripping you of your name. That's what I mean. Yeah, Neonor forgets her name, but that's not exactly the same. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Lothar- Lothar- you're still alive? What's going on, Gunain? Come on. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm clicking on you right now. Here we go. Okay. Uh, a light with fierce and sudden joy. You spoke of the strength of Lothrandir's will, and you were not wrong. Saruman tried to exert control over his mind, tried with every ounce of his power, but still your friend resisted. The wizard wove convincing illusions and portraits of despair, but still Lothrandir fought. Many and powerful were the tricks he employed to break your friend's mind, but each one failed. Lothrandir remained strong, and the wizard could find no means of bending him to his will. In the end, Saruman had to abandon the effort. He took another prisoner from his cell, a Falcon Clan warrior named Kenned, who had proved unable to work in the pits, and dressed him in lie. He was right, he dressed him up. That is the poor creature you see before you. Okay. Oh, so I get the key now. What do you make of that, Goladir? He's in a cell in this building's southernmost passage. Your crimes are many, and I do not forgive them. Ooh, tough. But we would have left this place believing our kinsmen to be lost. You're grateful for this? Why don't you, you can forgive her. Like, we didn't, we're not going to forget that it happened, right? But we can forgive her, can't we? I name you Mercy. That's kind of a fun name. We have no quarrel. Mercy. So we're not friends, but... We're not unfriends either. Return the way we came and look for the southernmost passage. Okay. All right, let's rescue Wathry. Wait, where am I going? That's where I came from. Okay, southernmost passage. Oh. This changes the thing in the bingo quest line. Got it, right. Let's see, southernmost passage. Not this, this is south, but no. Uh, Okay. I'll keep, I'll carry on trying to turn south. Okay. Anything down here? No. Oh, here we go. A pile of rags reveals itself to be a weary prisoner. That was a big port coast to be opened by a tiny key. 
What do we have here? It's Lothrin Deer. Oh man. The wizard was not pleased when you escaped. You almost felt sorry for him, huh? His orcs are endlessly disappointing him. There you go, Lothrin Deer. I like, I like the white hand mark on all these barrels. Hey, he made it! We found him! Woohoo! Wait, I should remember Kenned? Wait a second. Yes, from the Falcon Clan. Uh, I forgot. Which one is Kenned? Um... Which one is Kenneth? Um, he was... I don't remember him. We met, we met him in Talmathedras. Must have, right? Okay. Let us leave the sunken pit. We'll be glad to see daylight again. So Mercy... Gun Inez was comes to Bingo's dinner party at the end. Oh, the fellow prisoner! Right, 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 right. Okay, I remember him now, Aradrish. Right. Um. I know Gandalf too well to believe he comes from my council. But you, Theoden King, it is not too late. Only I can help you now. You do not know the path of wisdom. Good day. Saruman, I did not say you could go. Gandalf the Grey was betrayed by you, but I am not he. That's right. I am Gandalf the White, returned from death. Saruman, your staff is broken. You will work no more mischief here. Ah, I got a little glimpse of uh, Pippin with the Palantir there. So, Halbert, I guess I we missed it. Overstate my joy. The whole confrontation with Saruman. Safe return. Okay. Get necklaces, huh? Mm, nope. Mm, yes. It's not better than my master engineer's enduring necklace. It's fine. What has become of Saruman? Last chapter. Lothrendir suffered greatly at the hands of his captors, but he will, rem but his will remains strong, and I am certain he will recover from their torments. Hooray for Lothrendir! But what has become of Saruman? Ooh, I still get to catch it, even though I saw the movie. Great. Okay, let's see. Here we go. I can, oh, I can. So I'll see her if I if I do the the party at Bingo's again. Cool. So where do you meet her with Bingo? Where does she get introduced into the Bingo storyline? I'm gonna go all the way around again. Oh, I should go back to Gleowina. Yeah, I, uh, you're right. I should do that. I was gonna do that. I didn't realize I would get transported when I did that, when I went to, um, what's his name? Deorwina. I, I didn't know it was gonna travel me. Okay, oh, there's Pippin. Oh, and there's Kiriana. Okay, hey, Pippin, you ready? Pippin's back deep to receive Palantir. Let's get the... Where's the balcony? Oh, what are those hawks? Eagles? Where's the balcony? Oh, 
Oh, is it right there? Above the door? Is that where he's going to come out? Here, I'll, sorry guys, I'll dismount for you there. Oh, they're vultures. Right, okay. Okay, Aragorn. Sorry, I thought I missed it. That's great. I am pleased to hear my kinsman is safe. Oh yeah, it was good. You wished often that your friends might be close at hand, but I did not give voice to that desire, for I would not have wanted them put in danger. Right. Well, don't forget Candyth, man. I'm not sure he ever got to learn the Black Speech. Saruman emerged too, but not for long. Oh, I did miss it. He's returned to his tower. Hmm. You suspected some sur further mischief, huh? Okay. Did he say something about your your group of Galpers? The Mark will suffer at the hands of Saruman no longer. That's right. He is locked in his tower and he's cast from the Order. Uh, he used the power of his voice, right, yeah. Um, you didn't come to lick his fingers, though, right? That's right, Theoden. Saruman will no longer be a danger to Rohan. Okay. Um, he sighs heavily, and I'm surprised to see a deep sadness in his eyes. You offered him his freedom. But after working such deceits as he has done for so long, he did not see that it was an offer made in good faith. The treacherous see only treachery, and so it was with Saruman at the end. He has his life... But you fear he will not see this as a mercy. His staff is broken. But he has his life. Oh, that's interesting. He will remain within Orthanc and think on his old designs and mourn. Gandalf doesn't say that in the text. He talks about chewing the ends of his old plots, right? But not mourning. That's fascinating. Okay, he think he knows that if Mordor does have victory in the days ahead, the servants of that land will not forget the treacheries he worked on his own behalf. Agreed. Hey, Gandalf, meanwhile, did you see Pippin down there? I think he, I don't know, but... Um, did you find something, Pippin? Did you keep anything from rolling into a pool? I don't... Uh, see, are you concealing it about your person somewhere? Where's the Pippin? Where's the Palantir, huh? Where did you put it? Have you cunningly concealed it somewhere improbable? The most peculiar thing happened. Right. They engaged in a debate, and then somebody chucked something, and it didn't hit anybody. You picked it up, right? Oh, you carried it to Gandalf already. You're just reflecting down here. You're not actually hovering about the Palantir. Okay. Um... He says it was not thrown by Saruman, but by Grima Wormtongue. Okay, the globe is a mystery, yeah. Thought you might be curious about that, Pippin. Okay. Is it true? The threat of Isengard has ended? Saruman has occupied our thoughts for so long and caused so much hardship, I never believed he would not. We have come so far, from Rivendell, through Holland, into Enidwyth and Dunland, and here at last to the stronghold of Saruman. Many of my kin fell along the way, but each of them, all of them, were allies of the king to come. Aragorn, son of Arathorn, heir of Isildur. Yes, I've been a friend, too, that's true, and all the great company. You're welcome. Hey, you know... Excellent. Always happy to help. Hmm. That's cool. Woohoo! 
and I think I'm not high enough level to get the next epic quest line. All right. A new title. Uh, friend to the heir of Isildur. Oh, that's cool. I've kind of been his friend for a while. Like, ever since he and I bonded over helping to reforge uh, Anduril, but... That's cool. All right. Pending loot. All right. Going to pending loot. Uh, oh, volume three gift box. What's in the volume three gift box? We're curious. Let's see. Oh, stuff. What do we get? A statue of Candyth. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, uh, We'll, we shall remember in my house. We shall remember Candyth and his correspondence courses. A portrait of the Grey Company. Oh, nice. That's very. That's very. That's lovely. The ring of Bibarahir, the pseudo ring of Barahir. Yeah, that's cool. Uh huh. The fake ring. That's ooh. Plus two fifty seven vitality. Do tell. Okay. Cool. I'm going to put on the ring of Babara here. Here. Okay. Oh, look at that. In what is that? Two flawed symbols of Kelimbor? Uh, or Kelebrimbor. Kelimbor. Boy, listen to me. Kelebrimbor. I could have all my syllables. All right. All right. That's cool. Um, <laughs> well, I thought we were friends at least. Okay. Oh, so we'll get the volume four quest at level... 93, right, which I'm uh, just very close to. All right, let's go down. Let's go back and see Deir uh, Gleowina. There's my title. All right. Friend of the Heir of Isildur. I'm going to make that my active title. There we go. Uh, now, what's this deed? Allies of the King. Okay. All right, there we go. There's me having completed Volume 3. Woohoo! All right, but I will go back and find. Let's see. So let's go back to Aldenburg. Okay. Go back to Aldenburg. Get a horse from here. Get back to Helm's Deep. Find Gleowina. There's my friend, the stable master. I do not know if we will survive this onslaught. That's the ticket. Helm's Deep, there we are. Okay. Okay, so I, I if I go to Dunharrow I can pick up the volume four there. That's cool. Um is Gohelinus here? Where is he? I have to I've got to go back to Helm's Deep after battle. That's what I thought. Looks way too cheerful here. Okay, so... Sunrise? Right? Is it where I'm going? Okay, let's see. Lots of corpses. Yes. Okay. This looks right. Where do you go? So where is he? Hey, Sakaya. Let's see. What time is it over there in Japan nowadays? Now, uh, 
nowadays. Now and now. Oh wait, there he is. There he is. Hang on. Front gate. Okay. I found him. There he is. Okay. I will tell you the tale of Hama's heroic stand. Yes! You will hear it. Absolutely. I totally want to hear the story of Hama's last stand. That's one of the things I wanted. Oh, thank you, Glaowina. This is good grief. That's a lot of things to choose among. Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Without his valiant efforts, the gate surely would have been breached. That's just okay. Fantastic. Do I get to play as Hama? I do! Sweet! This is great. This is great. Okay. Right. Okay, oh, it's 2.20 p.m. out there. Okay. Woohoo! Oh, right. That is so... Um... That is so much better than not getting to do that. <laughs> oh, I so wanted to know what happened to Hama. This is excellent. Dawn had not yet come. Orcs streamed into the gatehouse, eager to spill the blood of Theoden. One man stood in their path, Hama, the door ward of Theoden. That's right. None shall pass. What do we got? I get two skills, really. What's this one? So we get a deadly swing and door ward's strike. Excellent. Okay. I better up my game here. Come on now. Triumph against the orcs that threaten the horn barrack. Okay. Whew. I'm in I'm in danger of not triumphing. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. I'm healing. All right. I am Hama. Oh, they're just uh, they're just uh, cheering. Draw upon the reserves of strength by focusing on the glory of Rohan. Think about the glory of Rohan, Hama. Last Hama thoughts. Hama of the glory of Rohan, and his strength was renewed. Yeah. I will defend the door. None shall pass. Dunlendings. You won't pass either. Oh, I need to contemplate the, the glory of Rohan again soon. Going to be defeated by Dunlendings. Who? You think about my service to the House of Aeoral? This is great. I love how we're we're taking and and uh, you know these the sort of the abstract concepts and physicalizing them in order to. So you are the representative of the House of Aeoral. 
Hama thought of the house of Aeor, and his strength was renewed. That's right. We shall not let the house of Aeor fall. Bring on the Dunlendings. Bring on the Urukai. I am Hama, the door ward of Theoden. You cannot enter. Oh, shock high attackers, huh? Hama stood with his back to the door and prepared for the end. Uh oh. Thoughts of Leo Ferth. Oh, that's right, his father. I will not retreat from here the tread of a single foot, he cried aloud. A doorward I was, he shouted, and, and a, a doorward door I, I remain. remain. Oh, man. Even as he fell, he heard the horn of Elm Hammerhand echo in the deep. Yes. So he held them off Forth, the long enough. To victory. Awesome. Oh, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. I love that. He thinks of the of the glory of Rohan and of the house of Aeron of his father. Notice how it narrows down, right, to become more and more personal. Uh yeah, having him hold off the orcs at the gate just long enough for Theoden to reach the gate. Oh, man. That was fantastic. That was good. That was good. I liked it. I liked it. I'm a fan of the story of Hama there. Okay, so I haven't gotten to ride out of the gates with Theoden, but... Um, yeah, it does gravity put the importance uh, uh, of Hama's death. Uh, I mean, we know that the death was really meaningful to Theoden, right? But in the book, that's really the only emphasis is on Theoden's loss. Um, I mean, he, the, his position that he was hewed before the gates. Um, I mean, that's uh, mentioned, of course, that's consistent uh, with the book, but um, we don't really learn about uh, really any of the other circumstances. We learn more about what happened to him after his death, right? When Theoden is trying to remind, uh, to remember um, the... Uh, um, like reasons to uh, not trust Saruman, you know, uh, uh, he remembers that uh, the orcs hewed Hama's body as it lay. And so passed Hama, the door ward of Theoden. That's right. Without him, the gate and perhaps the kingdom itself would now be broken. Oh, man. Talk to Theoden on the field of victory. Okay. There you are. I will see to it that Hama will not be forgotten. That's right. You sure will. Uh, one loss will loom more large in my mind than the rest, for Hama, son of Leofareth, was more than the door ward of my hall. He served me faithfully for many years, but he did not do so blindly. When I succumbed to the whisperings of Grima Wormtongue and only Gandalf could restore me to my senses, it was Hama that weighed the wizard's wish against my own command. And though he was sworn to uphold my word, Hama was a true man of Rohan and made the judgment he deemed necessary. It was disobedience, but in service of the kingdom, and I both forgive and am proud of him. He gave his life before the Hornburg, and without his sacrifice, we could not have had victory this day. Well, and Hama's safeguard. Yeah, I want to have Hama's shield. If I can use that, that'd be awesome. Sweet! Okay. 
So is that it? Is the only other one the one I can't uh, the one I can't get to? All right. Um, so Hologro, you mentioned one more Helm's Deep instance to do. Uh, I don't have any more leads. I think there's the one that I that I don't get access to because I haven't done the whole Rohan quest line with Wigand. Um, I've, he's just been following the epic pretty much. So. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Hey, I think we're done. I finished volume three.